The following film was brought to you by the Montana Vocational Rehabilitation Program, a partner of MontanaYouthTransitions.org, and was funded by the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. What's up? My name is Luca, and I'm coming to you on behalf of the Montana Vocational Rehabilitation Program. My name is Luca Petuelli. I also go as B-Boy Lazy Legs. B-Boy stands for Break Boy. I'm a professional break dancer. anyone with higher spirits than our final competitor. My name is Luca Petuelli, aka Lazy Legs. I was born with a physical condition called arthrogryposis. So what that means is I have very little muscles in my legs. Don't look at my crutches as a crutch. Look at it as a new style of dancing shoes. disability I may have has never stopped me from doing anything I ever wanted and I'm motivated to become one of the best in the world. So I want you guys to know that I worked extremely hard to get to where I'm at today but it doesn't mean that I didn't get help along the way and speaking of help I want to talk to you guys about folk rehab. Graduating from high school may be a stressful but it's an exciting time in your life. You might be asking yourself a lot of questions. What kind of work will I do? Who's going to hire me? How am I going to pay for college? Is there someone out there that's willing to help me? You may have heard about so many opportunities out there from so many different people, but you just don't know which option is right for you. There's so many choices out there that it can get really confusing. But don't worry, Voc Rehab is here to help you. Over the years, I've been asked if I've been bitten by a shark, if I've been in a car accident, or if I'm an Iraqi war veteran, all for one reason. See, I was born without legs, and while it's given me the added challenge of trying to figure out what to do with my life and career, and more importantly, how to do it, I think through a mix of luck, fortune, and a little bit of focus, I've gotten there. Hopefully, through this interview and this video, you'll be able to do the same. I learned about vocational rehabilitation through uh, my high school's counselor. Um, they were one of the early ones advising me not only just you know how to get scholarships and stuff like that outside of voc rehab, but also you know who to contact and how to get that program started. I was at first not really sure um, what 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 voc rehab was about, and I think part of that was because it was as it was quickly explained to me, it's a really wide and expansive program. Um, the, the, the level of service they offer can go everywhere from you know very close counseling and monitoring and helping payment for all this for all of your schools but also um, just kind of trying to guide you towards an occupation once you get out of school that was the most valuable thing voc rehab offered me I'm an X Games skier, former World Cup racer. I am a photographer, but have shot in over 28 countries. Um, I've had work displayed in England, Mexico, the Smithsonian over in DC. I'm a traveler, I'm an adventurer. Whether I'm writing a book or taking photos or doing any number of other things, I'm usually on some sort of harebrained scheme or adventure in the process. I, um have a physical disability of quadriplegia from a spinal cord injury that happened in a 
car accident when I was 18, uh, the spinal cord injury that I had uh, left me with paralysis from my uh, shoulders down and uh, no sensation. There was some uh, concern, I would say, and maybe some fear and uncertainty. Obviously, a lot of questions I had were about employment, and, and so um, someone talked to me about vocational rehabilitation, and so I did met with them and um, realized that they could be a resource to me and help me pursue some of the job goals that I had. I am a program coordinator here at Montech, which it helps all Man Montanans achieve technology. And then the other half of my job is the Montana's Access to Outdoor Recreation Program, which is a purely wildlife associated recreation program for Montanans with disabilities. I'm a hunter. I uh, like to hunt all kinds of animals. When I tell people that, they are often pretty surprised and can't quite imagine uh, exactly how that physically can be. Vocational rehabilitation is about helping young people who live with disabilities transition from school into the world of work. It's all about finding what you enjoy, your interests, the things you enjoy most, followed by your abilities, those things that you do well. And we bring those two things together in a job goal. When we do that, we have some magic. Well, my name is Jesse Jensen. Um, and I have Tourette's Syndrome. Well, disabilities is a um, natural thing, so I think everybody's special in their own way. You know, there was a, there was a time, seriously, when we, we were pretty unsure. We were, we really, we didn't think Jesse had a very strong chance of finishing high school. Um, the possibility of him driving a car seemed pretty incredible, and even having a job I think the amazing thing about vocational rehab is that they're so uh, doggedly determined to help a person succeed. We came in contact when Jesse was in high school. So the more you're available, the more yeah. they're going to hire you. Yeah. So. It was just amazing, just the, the patience with the process. Um, but then it was like, wow, this is exactly what he needs. This is the bridge that he's going to need to cross over into being able to work. They have helped me overcome so many things in my uh, life, so many steps I've taken. Well, you know, when you watch TV and when you read books and when you do things in your life, like, there's very few people with disabilities that are portrayed, and if they're portrayed, they're not necessarily portrayed in a positive light. And so I think it's important that the media kind of get away from this perfect 2020 world. I was born with Leber's congenital amaurosis, or LCA, which is like a malfunction with the rods and cones in my retinas, so I've been blind since birth. Um, for Montech, I'm the one of the blind specialists, and I study, test, and write about a lot of the different blindness equipment we have here. I don't consider myself like at a disadvantage really from other people. I don't just sit around and wallow in misery. Um, I do speech and debate, I do theater, I do uh, creative writing and like National Honor Society and I don't know, I would like people with disabilities to be recognized. There's always a first impression when you meet someone. But when, if you take the time to get to know them or to really understand them, you get to peel off the layers and go deeper and deeper and see who that person really is. My name is Tess Langston and I have classical autism. At an early age, I always knew what I wanted to do in life. My goal is to be an animator. I want to create stories that can impact old and young. I want to tell stories that could be timeless. A common myth about people with neurological disabilities or autism is that they can't go through life as a normal person. They have to stay with their parents or they can't live on their own, which is fairly untrue. 
There's also a myth that, you know, disabled people can't get into college. And that's, to me, after all of my past experiences, that's not even what I consider to be a myth anymore. I think that's more of a joke. Um, I think through a mix of technology as well as an ever-widening um, number of career options out there um, that really if you have the interest and, and the want to go research and find a position for yourself, you can do so. I went to Montana State University and I know that uh, just personally speaking, I was helped at every single step of the way, whether that was through financial aid, personal guidance, or even just someone showing you around campus to find the ramps and elevators. Um, it's just, I, I think in a lot of ways you have almost a bigger advantage than your able-bodied peers going into college sometimes. When I first met with uh, a VR counselor, we sat down and talked about uh, what some of my goals were, what some of my strengths were, uh, most importantly, what some of my interests were. And yeah, I'm very satisfied with my job. I enjoy what I do, I enjoy the people. It's rewarding to see people fulfill their potential. I think um, it takes a village to raise a child. And I think that um, there's a lot of truth to that. To successfully help an individual grow in the ways that they need to grow. And I believe that vocational rehab is um, a very important part of the village. I think the biggest difference between the day I started Voc Rehab and the day I got out, it's confidence. Yes, Voc Rehab provided resources to help me go through college, but at the end of the day, the most important thing for me was having you know, a guide into the world of trying to get a job once you're out of school. Once you have chosen your job, Voc Rehab provides you with the services you need in order to prepare for, get, and keep that job. Some of you may need assistance completing a job application or even getting ready for an interview. And others may require therapy to help overcome barriers that may get in the way. Whatever it is that you need to get the job that is best for you, VR is here to help. And best of all, it's free of charge for those who are eligible. Jobs can range from high-level executive jobs to uh, jobs related to disability or jobs related that don't have anything to do with disability at all. They could be outdoors on a daily basis. Voc Rehab meets an individual where his or her interests and potential lie. It sounds very simple, but in terms of where we are in history, as a person or individual with a disability, you could not have found yourself living in a better period of time. Every now and then I enjoy playing video games and sitting at home and being a hermit, but I can guarantee you that nothing happens during that time. Sometimes that's a relaxing thing, but nothing happens. And so with that knowledge, not take advantage of that would be a tremendous waste that you don't really have that many excuses. So I think as a professional performer, I can tell you that I'm living my dream. This is what I've wanted. This is what I've worked for my whole life. And as you can see on my t-shirt, it says plain and simple. No excuses, no limits. I've been dancing and I've been skateboarding and I've been doing it differently than anyone else in this world. But I've been doing it my own way. Just try. And remember that there are no excuses, no limits. Disability is a natural part of life. So whether you were born with a disability or you come to have a disability because of an accident, disease, or age, all of us are going to learn what it's like to live with a disability. So it's not about them, it's about us. We discovered that we have far more in common than we have differences. With 54 million people in the United States with a disability, this is a massive, massive contingent of people. And I guess if there's one thing that you can certainly take comfort in, is that you are most definitely not alone. So don't be shy. Okay. Here's what I know. Live life and grow. Forget how you used to be. Look deep inside.
This film was brought to you by the Montana Vocational Rehabilitation Program, a partner of MontanaYouthTransitions.org, and was funded by the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act.